Question number five says a block of mass, 2.3 kilograms, is pushed a distance of 4.4 meters along a frictionless horizontal table by a constant applied force of magnitude 16 newtons directed at an angle 28 degrees below the horizontal as shown in the figure below. And so what we have, uh, at what it's asking in A, B, C, and D, it says determine the work done on the block by the applied force, determine the work done on the block by the normal force, determine the work done on the block by the force of gravity, and determine the work done by the net force on the block. So let me draw what we have. We have this table, and on this table we have a block, and it's being pushed this way and it goes this way it only moves in the x direction it is not move one iota in the y direction down or one iota in the y direction up and so let's answer part b and part c determine the work done on the block by the normal force exerted by the table Okay, so the table is exerting a normal force. We're not even going to calculate what it is. We just know that there's a normal force being being um, uh, pushed on the table. So we're just going to call it N. And we know that the work done by the normal force is, is N times the change of, of Y. And since the change of Y is 0, anything times 0 equals 0 the work done by the normal force equals zero. There is no work done by the normal force. There's force applied by the normal force, but there is no work done by the normal force. Okay, it's it's not a trampoline, it's a tabletop. Okay, and then the, the second part says, determine the work done on the block by the force of gravity. Well, gravity is exerting a force against the table. Again, the table is not moving. The block's not moving downward or upward, and so the force, um, we'll call it the force of gravity um, times the change of y is still going to equal zero. There is no change of y. And so the force of gravity um, does no work as well. So b and c are both zero. And, and we know that because there's no, they, they don't, they do not um, contribute to the distance that the block is moved. So let's just make that our, our maxim. The, the maxim is uh, forces that do not contribute to movement, that do not contribute to movement or, or change of distance, do not do work. So that's our maxim. That's what we're going to live by on this. Um, and, you know, I could be wrong on this. I, I just made this maxim up um, just by applying common sense. So this could be wrong somehow. I can't think of any situation where it would be wrong, but this is going to be the maxim that I, I work my problems off of. And so the, then we have to figure out, determine the work done by the applied force, and determine the work done by the net force. Okay, so let's do net force first. So um, we have a block, and it's sitting on a table. The table is going to be our x-axis, and it's got some y forces that aren't contributing. It's got some some uh, n and g forces that are not contributing to the um, the movement. So they're in their net. The net of n uh, um, plus plus mg, the gravity, is zero because n is going to be in the, in the opposite direction as gravity. Or we could say um, the, the absolute value of m minus the, the absolute value of n equals zero. So um, going on from there, we have another force coming down. And we can break that force up into its y component and its x component. And so we're going to do that. The force is 16 newtons, and it's going down at a at a at a degree of 28 degrees. And so we want to find this movement right here. It would be cosine six. It'd be hypotenuse times cosine theta, or 16 times 
cosine 28 degrees and so we can get the the f of x here the the force on the x-axis we'll call it f of x1 even though that's the only one we'll still label it with a one um, f of x1 equals 14.12 we'll just call it 13 14.13 newtons and so we're going to multiply that by the distance which is uh, 4.4 and so if we were doing this algebraically we would say um, f1 cosine theta times the distance equals the work so uh, we didn't do it like that but that would be the algebraic layout and then, so we're anyhow we're timesing it by 4.4 and you get that the work done by the net force because there's there's only a force in this direction there's no friction pulling back so the net force is going to give us 62.16 um, joules. The thing is, it asks us in part A, determine the work done on the block by the applied force. And so the applied force adds some, some force in the y direction, but because the for, f, of, f of y1 doesn't contribute, it, it it does not contribute to a change of y. Um, it the, all of the f of y force is going to be nullified, and only the f of x of that force will be used to um, to apply work to the block. And so, the the net force applies 62.16 joules, and the force. Apply, the the force going down at 28 degrees applies 62.16 joules of work.